What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthaxia and welcome back to Pixelmon here on the Pixel Core server. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back today. So, it is Pixelmon Tuesday and if you saw last week's episode, you are going to know what we are going to try and do today. So, in case you missed it, basically last episode what we did is we went on the grind of our lives. Many Magikarps were slain and um, <laughs> yeah, basically we managed to grind ourselves a brand new orb of frozen souls from scratch. So I actually came into this flower forest biome here, which is really, really pretty. Um, well, I guess you call it flower plains or whatever, but uh, yeah, we managed to grind one of those bad boys up, which was awesome. And I was kind of like, looking for some legendaries. I was sort of hoping that one, we might get a shout, you know, for the... Uh, for, for something that's kind of close, it didn't happen, which is a bit of a shame. But the good news is we do have our orb ready to go. So in order to try and find our Articuno today, what we're going to have to try and find is some kind of snowy slash icy areas. So ice plains or ice spikes or icy mountains, if that is a thing. I think it is. Um, so we need to go and find those. So I'm probably going to head in this direction here and we are going to start the journey for the final legendary bird. And Dan TDM has joined the game. Oh snap. Hello you. <laughs> Let's go and say hello to Dan. Um, but yeah, okay, so I've got some cool things to talk about today uh, in this sort of um, kind of first bit of the video because there has been some cool stuff that is uh, kind of in the works and I'm really, really excited to talk about it. So I guess this is kind of like the cool opportunity to, to kind of let you guys know a little bit informally. I don't want to say too much just yet because things are in the very early stages of development, but uh, I did actually hint at this probably about a month ago, but it's only really started a few days ago, but I want to create myself a series, like a special, a special kind of Minecraft custom uh, narrated storyline series with, you know, my own characters and my own world. And uh, yeah, the, the good news is that work has started on the development of that series. So I'm currently actually working with a couple of the guys from my Minecraft server. Uh, in case you didn't know, I actually have a Minecraft server. It's called TeamThanksSeeYou.net. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for a server to play on, feel free to drop on by. Um, but yeah, it's a cool server. I, I really like it. But we've got some amazingly talented people uh, who are on it. And uh, essentially, the work has begun to create like a custom world uh, in order for the series to be shot on. So yeah, it's, it's so, so exciting. I'm kind of... I'm really nervous about it, actually, to be honest with you, because it's something completely new for me. And I've also said, kind of in the past, you know, I'm very lucky to... Oh my god, and Justin! Wow! All three of us, this is crazy! <laughs> okay, so it would appear that all three of us are on the server at the same time, which never, ever usually happens, which is mad. That's cool. Unfortunately, it started raining, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but, uh, yeah, so anyway, it's kind of in the early stages. I'm super, super excited about it, which kind of brings me on to what I was just about to say, uh, which was, of course, because, you know, I'm very lucky to know people like Justin and Dan, and they have their own, like, awesome custom series. Of course, you know, I want to try and have a go myself. You know, I want to see what I can do with it. And, uh, yeah, really, really excited. So I can't give you any dates or any kind of extra information and bits and pieces just yet because things are in the early stages. But, uh, yeah, expect something like that at some point as soon as possible. Uh, really, really excited. I'm hoping that people are going to kind of get behind the series and stuff. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of cool. So, anyway, what I'm going to do here is... Ha! Huh, I uh, don't know... <laughs> What's going on there? Charizard's having a dance. Okay, so I'm thinking about pro- Whoa! <laughs> you little sausage, what are you trying to do? You're not a Charizard, you cannot fly, Don Fern. You're very sweet though. So I think I'm going to probably head in this direction. So there is a bit of snow here. This I think is extreme hills, right? Uh, yeah, this is extreme hills. So, hmm. I kind of want to go maybe in this direction and I'll kind of just try and see what I can find, I guess. Ah, bad news. Okay, so the next portion of the video that you were supposed to just see right now has actually been corrupted. So unfortunately, I have lost that footage. So uh, yeah, there's still more to come, don't worry. But I thought I'd keep you posted as to what was supposed to happen, I guess. Where basically we did actually find ourselves a snow biome and we did also fortunately find ourselves an Articuno shrine. So just before we went and caught the Articuno, we wanted to do a little bit more exploring. 
OMGs. <laughs> We're just getting spoiled this episode. Man, that is the easiest I have ever found a biome and found a shrine at the same time. It's normally taken me like hours and hours. And as well as finding that, we may have found... Well, we have found... Dun 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 dun! Oh, hang on, we can't see it yet. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, check those out! The ice spikes! Oh, the ice spikes of destiny! I actually think that this biome with the Mesa biome is prob are probably like my two favourite biomes in all of Minecraft. How cool is this place? Oh. Wow, so we've been so, so spoiled, as I've said. We've just found so much cool stuff in this one area. I can't believe it. Check this out! How awesome is this? I really wanted to see one of these, especially with this texture pack. It looks gorgeous. And I'm wondering if we can find a shrine in here as well. That might be a little bit greedy. I may be getting like kind of shrine greed here, but wow, look at this place. How cool would this be to have like a base in the middle with all of these cool spikes and stuff going up everywhere. Check this, wow. Love it. Absolutely love it. So I guess we just have a little look around here, right? Just for a few minutes, let's go check out the situation. As I kind of mentioned, we do have the coordinates of that other shrine, so we're definitely going to be going back and collecting ourselves a beautiful Articuno. Uh, but before we do that, let's just have a little look around here. Let's see what's cracking. Huh. So I wonder if there's anything that's going to spawn in here. I know maybe a shrine might, but... Uh, I don't know, they seem to be pretty rare most of the time anyway. Uh, especially when I've been looking for them, they've been near on impossible to find. But, you never know, right? You'll never know. I don't really know how we're going to tell where it is. Because <laughs> everywhere is just like full and spiky and cold. and oh, It's awesome looking. I'm kind of curious though, there doesn't really seem to be that many Pixelmon spawning around here. You see what I mean? Where are all the Pixelmon? Huh. That's a good question. Where are all the Pixelmon? <laughs> there should be... Huh. Where? Uh, wait, hang on. Let's, let's keep looking. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at these things. <laughs> oh, I've never seen one of these before. Are you kidding? What are these? Cry Cryogonal. What the heck are you called? Hang on. Stay still. Cryogonal. Wow, they look awesome. No, 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 I want to fight this boss first. I want to fight this boss. So, oh no, come on. I will catch one of these guys. I've never seen these. Before. Stop it. You're like super aggress, dude. Chill out. All right, let's go. To, let's go to attack. No, this is the wrong one. I want to attack you. Wow, these things. The modeling is epic on them. Oh my goodness. We should take it down with a flamethrower, though, right? Oh my god, it's actually pretty, pretty strong. But I want to melt you. Please let me melt you. I think Moltres has got this in the bag. What the? Oh, okay. Uh, what have we got? Thief, an orb, and a leaf stone. Nah, we'll just leave it. We don't really need that stuff. But uh, actually. Uh, Let's take the least stone. <laughs> oh no, not the orb. We, we've got loads of orbs. Uh, but yeah, wow, these things are epic. I want to catch one. I want to catch one. I want to catch one. Please let me have one. So I was kind of wondering, this place was like way too quiet. And all of a sudden, boom, we have these just crazy cool looking things. I wonder if they evolve into anything. I have no idea. Like, I'm not too not too familiar with this Pixelmon, actually. It doesn't even look like a Pixelmon, does it? All right, you know what? We're going to catch you. You look, you look nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go and lob some bowls at it. And hopefully we shall catch one of these guys. Hey, we got it! Yes! Oh god, let me put my headphones on. <laughs> I was just like chucking, chucking balls at it like crazy. Oh wow, those guys are not easy to catch. I think I used maybe, oh, I don't know, like 15 balls, 16 balls on it. But yeah, finally we got one, which is awesome. We'll check that out a little bit later on. Um, it, or if we find like a poker center, we'll go and check it out. But I was kind of just wandering around here, sort of seeing what's going on. At least that's really awesome that we found something that we don't actually see spawning on the island. And that's the beauty about finding these like weird biomes that we don't necessarily have on our island. Because you do actually get those unique Pixelmon uh, that you wouldn't normally see anywhere else. So that is... That is good, it's a successful trip, and of course we are going to be leaving with so much more in just a second. I was really, really hoping we could find a shrine in here, but... Hmm, I think we might be pushing our luck slightly, but uh, yeah, what I think I'll do is, you know what, I'm not ready to leave here just yet. I'm going to have a little wander around, I think, just a little sort of, you know, wander, and uh, let's, go, let's go over the top here. Because there might be some other Pixelmon here, maybe, that we don't normally see, but I doubt it. I doubt this, but who knows. Let's go and have a little look around. Okay, so welcome back everyone. Yeah, I think it was a little bit ambitious of us to try and find a shrine in that place. Ooh, hey, there's one of these over here. So uh, yeah, I did actually have a look. Uh, couldn't find anything, unfortunately. I didn't see any other new Pixelmon apart from the one that we just caught, which I think is great. And uh, what type of block is this out of interest? Is it just, is this just, just like ice, I guess? I don't have a silk touch pick, so it's just gonna smash, but... Uh... 
Hello, nice gem. Um, but yeah, I think we are ready now, finally, to get ourselves our Articuno and complete our trio of legendary birds. So it's going to be awesome. I'm actually thinking, uh, I'm going to grab myself some... Oh, that noise. Oh, it's so efficient. So efficient. I'm actually going to grab myself some... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be smart about this. I'm going to grab myself some dirt because I'm going to build a, like... I don't know what the shrine is like. Let's go and take a look. But I'm slightly worried, like last time, as soon as this bird gets released, it's just going to fly away. So I was thinking maybe try to build, like, a little hat over the top. And hopefully, if we do that, then it's not going to, like, fly away on us. So, oh, man. Everything's like half blocks. So yeah, this shrine is cool. I like this a lot. It's a little bit more sort of, not not basic, but it's a little bit, it's different from the others. That's for trouble. <laughs> What's the point of me even climbing up there? I've just fallen off straight away. Oh yeah, this place is epic. I absolutely love this snow area. And especially really, really glad that we got to see those snow plains. Oh, this place is so annoying. Come on. Oh, it's all like half slabs. Really irritating. Uh, okay, let's just do it like that. And stick one like that. There we go. Nice. Um, so yeah, let's actually go and build a little roof over the top of this guy so he can't fly away. And then we will get ready to summon him. Right? There's no time like the present. Let's do this. So we have ourselves our Orb of Frozen Souls. And I think I'm going to go and it doesn't really matter what Pixelmon I use. But let's actually initiate battle with Ha. Let's go with, you know, let's go with Bobby. Why the heck not? Okay, so here we go. Three two one and oh god no 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 it's got away it's got away attack it please bobby no do something useful please <laughs> oh thank god oh i can't take the stress it's so stressful all right articuno yes it is dancing and we actually have ourselves bobby here so i guess what we could do is we could throw a few balls at timer ball is going to be completely useless of course but you never know until you give it a bash. So we do only have, unfortunately, a couple of master balls, a load of luxury balls and timer balls. We have not planned well for this trip. But uh, yeah, what I think I'll do is I'll probably lob just a few balls there. I don't want to weaken it. I don't want well, I suppose I could weaken it with Bobby, couldn't I? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Let's, let's, let's play this smart. So what could we use? Uh, what's going to be bubble beam? That's not going to kill it, is it? Uh, yeah, we should, we should bubble beam it to try and chip it away a little bit. Although Bobby is going to be taken down in just a bit. I'm wondering if it's... Wow, Bubble Beam is actually pretty strong against this Articuno. And I'm really worried about hitting a, like, like getting a critical hit or something. Because you know what happened the first time round when we caught Moltres? Things didn't go quite to plan. So, uh, yeah. All right. Oh, no, Bobby. Please don't go. All right. Bird v. Bird. Let's chuck some more balls and let's see what we can do. I've had a change of plan. I can't take the pressure. <laughs> I don't want anything bad to happen. So here we go. Here is the Master Ball, which is being thrown at Articuno. And dun dun dun! Ladies and gentlemen, our journey to the three legendary birds is complete. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> oh man, I'm so hyped. That is awesome. So, ah, oh, what do we do now? Oh, I'm really, really happy. So we have all three of the legendary birds, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno, which is amazing. We are still missing that infamous Rayquaza, uh, which has haunted us since day one on Pixelmon. But you know what? One at a time, we are doing awesome. So I think it's probably about time we head back to the island. And you know what? Let's go and take it our birds in action. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Yes, we are back. So, uh, yeah, let's actually use the machine here because it's got some nice open space. And let's get rid of this Ledian. Ledian, Ledian, whichever one you prefer. And dun dun dun! Articuno! Yes, welcome, welcome. So, what kind of Articuno is it? Uh, let's have a look. Description. A uh, gust of wind is whipped up by its wings and launched at the target to inflict damage. So, its growth is huge. Its nature is rash which means it has higher special attack lower special defense it's uh yeah that's nice i like that i like that so the moment of truth here it comes here it comes so here is don't attack the ratata come on yes there's one there's two and there's three <laughs> yeah look at these guys oh yeah oh i like them they're so nice man which which one of the three do you like best I actually think I like Zapdos the best. I think it looks the nicest. Uh, these legendaries haven't received, like, any um, additional sort of, uh, like, 
you know, uh, graphics and stuff. They've not been modeled. Uh, some of the new Pixelmon have, some of them haven't. These guys haven't been remodeled yet, but you know what? They still look pretty damn awesome. And yeah, these are the three legendary birds. So I think that is going to be doing it for today's Pixelmon episode. Thank you so, so much for joining me once again. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Minecraft on fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Run, see ya! Thank you.